my friends and welcome to another episode. If you have been following my videos, you will know that since the beginning, since I bought this truck camper, day number one, I have wanted to get fast guns. And guess what? Torquelift has been so kind to send me some of their world-renowned fast guns. And so today I thought that it would be a perfect opportunity to do a review on these fast guns and to show you guys why they are the best turnbuckle in the industry right now. <laughs> Christmas came early. Actually, it's just a couple days after Christmas. I am so excited. So let's open these up. Let's show you what they are. If you guys don't know what fast guns are, I'll explain it in the video. And uh, I am so excited to put these on my truck and, uh, and see how they work and how convenient they are. Look at that. Now they come in all different colors. They come in black, white, gray. I decided to get the nice shiny stainless steel silvers uh, because I just think they look best. So this is what comes in the package. You've got two turnbuckles here. You've got the guts of the operation here. So this end right here connects to your torque lift tie downs on the truck and then this end connects to your bracket on the truck camper. So let's get these threaded in and let's go outside and I'll show you how they work. All right, so I just put together my fast gun. Uh, the instructions are very simple, very easy to put together. And now let me show you how it works. What I'm about to show you, this is the reason that everybody loves fast guns and everybody wants fast guns is because they're so simple to put on. And so all you're gonna do, you're gonna lift the handle up, you're gonna connect the top end to your anchor point on your truck camper, and then you're gonna connect your bottom point to your torque lift tie down. Then this is it right here, watch this, ready? Done. That, <laughs> that's amazing. That is amazing. You can also get them in different sizes. Or if you need to adjust them, all you have to do is either screw this end in or screw it out. That lengthens and shortens it. And so if you're not matched up perfectly, just take a couple seconds and you're good to go. And what's great is that you know it's the perfect tension. So these fast guns are spring loaded. And so it gives the camper a little bit of give. Whereas if you just use a normal standard turnbuckle with chain, it causes a lot of stress on your anchor point here. So you want your turnbuckles to be spring loaded. And the nice thing about this system is that I don't have to worry, is it too tight? Is it too loose? It's all done for you. I'm probably gonna get this question. Uh, do all four need to be spring loaded? Uh, Arctic Fox suggests that all of them should be spring loaded or, or, or cushioned. Um, but I actually have been driving this camper for over a year with the front being spring loaded and the back just being chain and turnbuckle. And uh, as far as I can tell, uh, things are good. But like I said, they do recommend all four to be spring loaded. I mean, some of these bumps, some of these potholes is no joke. Now it usually takes me anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes to load my truck camper. And I would say about eight to 10 of those minutes are dealing with my previous turnbuckles. But with the fast guns, it eliminates a lot of that time simply because it's a very simple mechanism. You don't have chain, you don't have to worry about turning anything with a wrench. Actually, it's tool free. So you don't have to worry about getting a tool. It's just a simple, quick release handle. Now it's time for the fun part. I want to time myself and see how long it takes to put on the old tie downs and then how long it takes to put on the fast guns. I mean, fast is in their name, right? So basically I've got the old turnbuckle. This is spring loaded for the front and chain. And then I've got the new fast gun. And then my back ones here are just a normal standard turnbuckle with some chain and then fast gun and on every single side. So first I'm gonna do the old 
and see how long it takes me to put them on properly. And then I'm gonna do the fast guns. Now for anyone out there that owns a truck camper, there's two things that take a lot of time when loading the camper. Number one is to get it straight on the truck box. Number two is whatever turnbuckle you're using, that takes a lot of the time as well. So let's just see how much time I actually save. Now with the old ones, I do have to use a uh, crescent wrench. With the new guys, it's, uh, well, we'll just see. Starting now, let's go with the old. All right, we've got one side done. Now it's this side. Most certainly is. How are you doing? Good. 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 Here, one sec. I'll come chat with you. I'm just timing myself, doing something. All right. One second. All right. Four minutes and 18 seconds to put the turnbuckles on. Now let's go see what the fast guns do. Reset. Starting at zero and go. That was quick. <laughs> 55 seconds, right there. So if the question is, are fast guns the best? Simply yes, they are. Blows my mind how easy that is. So my friends, that is the review for the fast guns. Uh, there's no other way to put it than uh, they, they truly are the best. The quality of them, the convenience of them, uh, I'm just excited to have them. I got them on my truck right now. Uh, if you can see out the, the mirror there, it's nice looking back and seeing them. I've wanted them for a long time, so I wanna give a big shout out to Torque Lift. Thank you so much for sending me some fast guns. If you guys are interested in getting some for yourself, I'm gonna put a their website in the description below, and I'm also gonna put it right here. You can head over there and purchase some fast guns for yourself, or you can go and ask some questions, uh, and they will answer your questions. So that's it for me, guys. I will see you in the next video. As always, keep living that dream. Until next time, my friends, take care and Bye bye. I got some beautiful shots. I just went past Lake Cowichan and uh, oh man, it's, it's just gorgeous out here.